All right, this is a video demo for a pullover. So traditionally we do these with a, uh, a dumbbell while we're pulling over or a dumbbell and a band. Um, this one we're just gonna do it with a, with a band, okay? I would suggest doing it with a thin one. So either, probably, especially the first time doing this, you get a good feel for it because it isn't a, a pretty strenuous overhead exercise where it's putting a lot of tension potentially on our shoulders, um, especially overhead throwing athletes. I would start with either the yellow or the red initially, and if that goes well, um, go up from there. So for this, just like it's similar to our other pullover exercises, we're laying perpendicular across the bench, my shoulder blades are resting across. I would suggest for this, having your palms face away as far as grip. Think about if you were holding that dumbbell, right? That's pretty much the same position your hands and your upper body would be in, right? So same idea, I wanna go down so that you notice there's tension throughout right now, there's not a ton of tension, but there isn't slack, and I'm pulling up and over, okay? You're gonna feel this all the way down if you're doing correctly through your lower abdominals, okay? Another variation of this, just like we talked about with the dumbbells, to incorporate a little bit more core, is raising our opposite knee. When we, I do this version, I like to think about pulling that band down towards my knee, okay? And the nice thing about the band is you can see we get a little bit faster and smoother of a tempo than we would if we were using the dumbbell, okay? But just like any of our overhead stuff, just be smart um, as far as the tension, especially the first couple times doing it so you get a good feel. But again, not a tricep exercise. Yes, you feel this a little bit in your triceps, but what we're looking for is into that armpit and down into our lats and even more so into our abdominal area.